Sterling and Francine Clark shared a common passion for art and built their collection over a period of 45 years. In 1953, they decided to establish a museum to house their collection and selected Williamstown as the future home of the Sterling and Francine Clark Art Institute. Sterling Clark died in 1956, and Francine remained involved with the museum until her death in 1960. The Clark's collection is most noted for its Renaissance, Old Master, and Impressionist paintings, as well as silver, ceramic, and decorative arts. The Institute continued to grow its programs and collections, and by the early 1970s began construction of a second building to house its new library and to provide valuable space for visitors, students, and scholars. This new building became the home of the Clark's Research and Academic Program and houses the Clark's Library, Special Exhibition Galleries, a renovated study center for works on paper, and an auditorium for public events. In the years that followed, the Clark's programming continued to expand and featured a number of critically acclaimed exhibitions. In 2000, the Clark initiated a master plan to provide a new campus that created needed spaces, expanded appreciation for the surrounding natural beauty, and invested in sustainability initiatives to ensure protection of the Clark's 140 acres. In 2006, phase one of the campus expansion program began with the construction of the Stonehill Center, now called the Lunder Center at Stonehill, housing contemporary galleries, a community conference room, and the laboratories and offices of the Williamstown Art Conservation Center. In 2010, work on phase two of the campus expansion program began with the construction of the Clark Center designed by the Pritzker Prize-winning architect Tadao Ando. At the same time, work started on the renovation of the museum building, designed by Seldorf Architects. On July 4, 2014, the Clark opened its new campus. Since then, visitors have enjoyed a variety of special exhibitions, the renovated permanent collection galleries, and the spectacular new landscape. Welcome and enjoy the new Clark.